my two-year master's project in architecture, creating an interlocking ceramic brick that absorbs traffic noise has gone viral, with over 1.2 million views on YouTube and over 800,000 views on Instagram. And I read and reply to almost every single comment, and I truly appreciate the engagement. And I want to address the top three most common questions, which are, how do I make this? How does it work? And why am I giving this away for free? So let's get into it. I first start out with a CAD design that can be manipulated and adapted into different future iterations. I then 3D printed it as a prototype to have a physical model as well as a better understanding for all of us tactile learners. But in order to make this in clay, I then needed to see and see the shape out of foam. So I used some industrial Haas machines at my university to carve out this positive form. I then had to pour a plaster mold around the form in order for it to be slip cast. After a week of the plaster drying, I then pour liquid terracotta clay, also known as slip, into the cavity and let that set for about 40 minutes. I then pour out the excess clay, and what you're left with is a hollow mold of the brick. I still have to clean up all of the surfaces, bisque fire it, and then glaze specific areas of the brick that will be in contact with the outside elements. And this entire process took me about three months to make 50 bricks. Now, how does this work? Once I had all of the bricks fired, it then came time to assemble them all together. I had to grout them in a special order sequence since I had two different sizes of internal cavities. The size of the neck and cavity are specifically tuned to absorb certain low frequency sounds of traffic noise. A popular question is what happens if the bricks get wet? After material testing lots of different clays, I decided to go with terracotta for its ability to be somewhat porous and have water evaporate from its surface. Another asked question was, what happens if animals decide to nest in the cavity of the bricks? And that's exactly what I want. It may decrease the size of the internal space of the cavity, but the material of nests that birds may use will help absorb more sound. Also, having plants and moss grow on the surface will hopefully do the same, as well as make it more visually appealing in nature. Now the big question, why am I giving this away entirely for free? Well, for starters, I'm not in the brick making business. Unlike Big Pharma or Big Oil, Big Brick doesn't have a hold on me. I love architecture and using CAD software to help bring ideas to life, but my background and experience is in marketing, which I have my undergrad in, as well as sales and being able to connect and teach people about products through visual storytelling and amazing achievements in manufacturing technologies. I know I don't easily fit into a standard box, which may be why this brick is in an odd shape. And one of the main concepts in academia is the ability to build on other people's ideas, advance it just a little bit further through your own research, and then give it to the world for other people to carry on expanding on those ideas. It's why I've always been in love with the concept of open source ideas. And as Isaac Newton said, we're all standing on the shoulders of giants. So hopefully this illustrates that you can have a wide variety of interests and skills, which can all merge on a piece of research or project, and be able to bring value to yourself and others in many other future aspects of life. Plus, when making these time-consuming bricks, half of them would break, and I want to be in an industry where the product success rate is over 50%. So if you think any of my skills would be a great addition to your team, or if you have any other ideas on how you can take this concept to the next level, keep engaging with me in the comments and sharing this content with your friends. Thanks so much, and keep on making.